Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus. And we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Lo de tu madre es extraordinario, supera cualquier tipo de lógica. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo es posible que te pregunte qué tal estás? Tú le digas que muy bien y ella sepa que tú muy bien, muy bien eh, no estás. Si es que acierta todas, ¿cómo lo hace? Podrá leer la mente. Porque lo de tu madre es extraordinario. Este 7 de mayo, sorteo extraordinario del Día de la Madre de Lotería Nacional con 15 billones a un décimo. Celébralo. Loterías te recuerda que juegues con responsabilidad y solo si eres mayor de edad. A prayer to find beauty in the present. Written and read by Emily Rose Massey. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Ecclesiastes 3, verses 11 through 12. I lived in the Midwest of the United States almost my entire life up until two years ago. We would experience all four seasons, but it usually went something like this. Five to six months of winter, two to three weeks of spring, four to five months of summer, and two to four weeks of fall. I have to admit, winter was always my least favorite season, and out of all the seasons and in the Midwest, it is the longest. I remember waiting for spring to come with great expectation, but come January, I would usually grow extremely impatient and ready to pack my bags and move our family to somewhere much warmer. Honestly, it was one of the main reasons our family did end up moving a thousand miles away to start a new chapter in the sunshine state. For many of my friends and family, they are longing for the warmer temperatures of spring to make their appearance and stay. Soon enough, the fresh leaves will fully cover what were barren branches and flowers will be in full bloom. None of us have to worry if the seasons are going to change because they always do. God is a master artist like that and has it all under control. Just like seasons are set to a specific time that God ordains, so are events in our life. And on an even bigger scale, our journey with Him as it unfolds. Only He knows how to take a rebellious heart of stone and transform it into a heart of flesh that praises His holy name. This profound reality of God forming a life into one who learns how to deny self and worship the Lord is not an overnight event. No, just like seasons change in their own time, the change of a life for the glory of Christ is a process. In God's perfect timing, we will begin to see the transformation. Ecclesiastes is a book in the Bible written by one of the wisest men to live, King Solomon. In this book, Solomon discusses the ebb and flow of life 
time, foolishness, suffering, and wisdom are some of the topics that are poetically unwrapped throughout the Old Testament book. Chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes focuses on the concept of time in the heart of man. Verse 11 explains to us that God is the holder of time, and specifically that he has made everything beautiful in its time. 11a. The verse goes on to say that God has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Ecclesiastes 11b. Oftentimes as humans, we become extremely discouraged when we fail or when we think we should be further along than we are. But God is continually working in our hearts and in our lives, and the process of conforming us to the image of His dear Son rests solely in His hands as we lean not on our own understanding, but trust completely in Him and His ways. Proverbs 3, verses 5-6 through six. With the help of the Holy Spirit, we learn to walk in obedience. He leads us into all truth as we study the Word and renew our mind to replace old ways of thinking with God's perfect will. Perhaps the process of renewing our mind and seeing transformation in behavior and attitude is slowed down because our eyes become too fixated on cares of this life and the temporal. Our hearts were made to look to the hope in eternity. But if we are not careful, we can be consumed with worry when things are not changing as quickly as we would like them to or when our circumstances in our life are challenging or uncomfortable. Soon we are trying to control things that go on in our life and forget to ask the Lord for His help or even acknowledge that He may be using all that may be difficult in our life to work for our good and turn it all into something beautiful. Do you feel like you are stuck in a winter season in your life and are longing to see plumes of new life? Let's take those concerns to the Lord today in prayer. Let's pray. Father God, I am struggling with disappointment and discontentment with where I am in life right now. Help me to guard my heart from discouragement, ungratefulness, and complaining. Help me to look for the blessings you have already given me in my current circumstances. Teach me how to find ways to praise you when my expectations are not met and learn how to trust that your timing is perfect even if I don't fully understand it. I know I need to trust you in your sovereignty and lean upon your ways over my own. Your grace is sufficient for me and I thank you for always guiding me into truth and convicting my heart when I fall into the sin of grumbling and complaining, thinking that I know better than you. My lips long to praise your great name. Thank you for your love for me and for changing my heart to reflect yours. I pray you would use this season you have me in to transform me and strengthen my faith in you. Give me eyes to see the beauty even in my winter season. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Do you sometimes doubt if you're truly hearing God's voice or if it's really your own? Or have you been in a season where it feels like He has been completely silent? Have you been praying for a way to learn how to hear His voice more clearly? Hey friends, I'm Rachel, host of the Hearing Jesus podcast. If you are ready to grow in your faith and to confidently step into your identity in Christ, then join me as we dig deep into God's Word so you can learn to live out your faith in your everyday life. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Hearing Jesus on your favorite podcast app.